All right, guys. Um, so today we are showing off the easy A uh, for the Super Saiyan Goku and Gohan. Uh, they are extremely good. Um, they are a unit that is kind of difficult to showcase, uh, just based off of the fact that they are like kind of a support unit, kind of not a support unit. They have an exchange mechanic where they become completely not a support unit. Um, but we're gonna start breaking them down now. If you know what they do, feel free to skip forward a little bit. And if you're rocking with me, let's go. Uh, they give Goku's family, well, their leader skill. I always forget to for tell y'all where I'm starting off. Uh, their leader skill, they have Goku's family category 3 key, HP attack and defense 77%, which is pretty good, but you probably have someone with a better Goku's family leader skill, because so many people have Goku's family leader skill. Uh, you have the Super Saiyan 2 uh, Angel Goku, you have the Tech Kaioken Goku, you have Super Saiyan 4 uh, LR Goku, you have the LR Gobros. Um, there's so many units that have uh, Goku's and Vegeta's family like leader skills, so... Their leader skill is good, but you probably don't need it. Um, now, on their super attack, they do two different things, and both of them are super good for their defense. Uh, they raise defense and cause supreme damage as well as they lower attack. So the lowering attack and raising defense is both, they're both extremely good for their defense. Um, they have attack and defense plus 50%, and then they give Goku's family category allies 2 key and 30% stats, which they also give to themselves, by the way. Um, looking back, I wish I would have given them more additional, like like exclusively additional <laughs> but i didn't really think about it when i was first building them who knows i might farm another copy and do the easy a again i don't know i probably won't uh just to get different splits but you could do that that is something to think about other links they have golden warrior super saiyan saiyan warrior race all in the family prepare for battle kamehameha and shattering the limit uh they're on goku's family android slash cell saga kamehameha and pure saiyan uh, and then after they exchange they become this card which they have the same links except for one they exchange Saiyan lineage well go on get Saiyan lineage um and this is the guy that got the massive buff so he gets three key attack and defense plus 90 percent at the start of turn which is already pretty good uh plus an additional attack and defense 50 percent and launches two additional attacks with a high chance of performing a crit oh when there's an android slash cell saga category enemy that's nuts so if you're fighting an android cell saga category enemy he's insane but if you're not he's not uh, we took them into the super long, I think it's called like Infinite Dragon Ball History event. Um, just And we're going to be cutting around a little bit. We're going to be seeing their defense in different spots. Um, and then at some point we're going to transform with them as well. Um, I forgot to look at their defense here. So we're actually going to wait one more rotation. So this is our first time stacking defense. As you can see they could transform there. But that's just because they're in se the seventh slot. Um, here's Gohan. And it is a little hard to show them off. Just because, you know, they are a support unit. So, we're going to get a rotation with them and the transformed uh, variant of this Gohan. Because uh, they do add so much damage to him. But it's just hard to, like, truly calculate how much damage they're giving him. Just because they are a support unit. So, next rotation, we're going to look at their defensive stat. We're going to look at their offense. And then we're probably going to cut to a little bit later in the fight. Uh, and then at some point, we are also going to go to the Goku's family team. And get their best attack, which will probably be with, like, B-Pan on rotation as well as maybe Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, so they can have like Super Saiyan and stuff, um, as well as the 40% support. Uh, I don't know exactly, we'll figure all that stuff out later. So we're just gonna get one more look at them here and then we're gonna cut, I don't know, maybe two or three stages later into the event. All right, the Gobros, if they get an additional super, okay, they didn't. If they would've got an, an additional super, they could've finished that off. Um, I also did bring Cell, just so that we could transform with Gohan here, because I do want to get a look at them. Alright, so this is them after only stacking their defense one time, they're at 86,000 HP. They're at 86,000 defense, Blake, they're not at- what am I talking about? I don't know. Um, and then, there's that, and then we're just gonna see their attacks at, and then we're gonna cut to later into the event. So I'm actually gonna take here- alright, they're taking 33,000, they're at 1 million here, so- they also don't stack attacks, so that's basically what they're going to be at through the whole thing. Um, but we'll see you guys a little bit later. I hope they got the double super. Alright, we're back, and as you can tell, we are very low on HP. Um, so this is a bit later in the fight. They do have 200,000 defense. Which, you know, for context, right now if they were in the int stage of the UI Goku event, they would be taking double digit damage with type disadvantage. So, they're really good defensively right now, um, as well as they're just going to give a huge buff to this LR Gohan. So, we are low on HP, thanks to Super Saiyan 4 Goku getting hit by a super and not countering it. Um, and I didn't even mean that sarcastically, because I spent, like, ever since we cut last, I spent, like, all of that time trying to get low on HP. 
Change the green? No. I'm going to transform with this guy and just see if he can change the green. You know, knowing my luck, he's going to change the blue. I just thought of that. Please don't change the blue. Please change the green. Please. <laughs> see, like, this rotation right here could be the most damaging rotation in the game, by the way. Because... Don't forget that the Goku and Gohan are a support type unit. Okay, well, this will work. Oh, that's 3, 6, 9, that's 9 key, yeah. They're a support type unit. Uh, as well as the fact that they just activate part of Gohan's passive. Um, we are going to heal here, because if not, we would probably die. Uh, <laughs> and we'll just have them grab that. And let's just see what the Gohans get to here. Because, remember, this isn't just me showing off how good Gohan is. This is showing off how good the Goku and Gohan are. 6.6 .6 million. I guarantee you, 2 million of that is from the Goku and Gohan, because they give him the extra 59% as well as the extra 20%. So, Goku and Gohan are really just out here, as well as the million attack that he's on, like, has on his own, and then let's see how much extra he probably gave to this Gohan. Uh, his attack would probably be about 6.9. Probably about 2 million to him, too. Um, so, if you just count, because obviously, from the Gohan's passive, as well as the Goku's like support passive that's probably about how much they gave so that is nuts um so I would cut here but I think actually next rotation we are just going to transform with Gohan here um well I guess we're gonna retreat with Goku into Gohan and then we're just gonna see what he looks like and then after that we're probably gonna go on to the Goku family team to see how he works over there um I do think he probably works a little bit better on the Goku family team just because obviously on the Android category team well the Kamehameha team, not Android category. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, obviously, on this team, not everyone here is Goku's family. Uh, we're going to transform. But since not everybody here is Goku's family, uh, they won't be giving their support type buff to everybody. But let's look. I really like this little animation. Okay, so now we got them transformed. Uh, their defense is now at 300,000. Okay, they're not going to be taking any damage. Uh, we'll do that. And then LR Gohan is still here. Uh, he's not getting the extra 15. We can actually see exactly how much uh, they were given. So last time he was at like 6.9-ish. Uh, let's see what he's at here uh, without them. So first off, let's just see how much Gohan... Super Gohan? Yes, okay. Gohan should take double digits here. He's at 300,000 defense. And we'll see. Okay, he took 13,000. That's nothing. So he's at 1.4 million here with no support. He has no support. He only has the Super Saiyan Link active. Okay, crit, lowered attack. Additional. Additional, he could do another super. If he does another super right here, this is really him showing out. Nope, okay. Well, either way, that was really good. And he went from 6.9 to 3.6. So it was probably closer to 3 million that they were giving this go on. So there, this turn, it was a net negative on offense to transform, but I just want to get a quick little rotation with the tech uh, Gohan, like after he exchanged. Um, there he didn't look super good, but we will make him look pretty good in a second on the Goku's family team, but obviously first we do want to show off Goku, uh, but either way, I will be back in a second. Alright, here we are on the Goku's family team, um, I do think they are definitely better on this team, uh, just because their support type buff will activate more, well, not more often, but it will affect more people, is what I mean, uh, because as far as coming in the hot team goes, you could run like a full villain variant, or just, you know, people who aren't in the Goku's family category, like the fusions or something. Um, so they are much more effective here, but if you do need like a defensive option for like the legendary Goku event, or even the infinite Dragon Ball history event, that's what it's called, uh, they are definitely a good option for every team they're on. Um, I know personally I did use them on like the Cell Saga team, so I didn't really care about their support much there, but you know, that's fine. Um, so like, their best rotation will be with Bardock and B-Pan. So... I do need to get low enough on HP for Bardock to get his passive, so I'm not going to super with Bardock here, uh, because if I supered with Bardock, then he would raise his defense, and I kind of want to get hit a little bit here. Um, now, obviously, I will transform with them before I get like their best, best rotation. I think I'm going to transform right here, because we already know they're super good defensively, right? But I, at this point, we're just kind of looking at how good can this Gohan be, you know? The exchanged version. Okay, ow. Um, and we can also just see, like, how, like, what his defense is without, like, stacking it much. Because this is him only having stacked it one time. Okay, Goku, detransform. Go on, get all angry. Like, it's weird. He looks happy, and then he looks angry. I don't remember what part of the show that's from. 
so he's already at 100,000 defense, which is pretty good. Um, let's see what he's at here. There's no way that this uh, adult Gohan finishes it, so we're just going to leave him in the first slot. Uh, actually, there's really no way that he finishes it, because you know what I just remembered? Um, Dr. Jiro absorbs beams. <laughs> so, this, we're just going to heal him up here, is basically what we're doing. Right there, take some of that. I wish there was a thing where it's like if you healed them too much, uh, they would just like... So he's at 1.6 million here. Um, crit? Yeah, 2.3 million crit. And then he has two normals. And then don't be a crit? Alright, and then this one could be. Nope, a super. Um, but anyways, what I was saying is like, I wish that if you hit them with like so many beams, that like, they would explode or something. Like, you could just kill them with beams, but it wouldn't look like you were doing damage. Like, they would overflow with energy or something. I feel like that would be a fun little thing, but I'm not sure if they would do that. Um, but anyways, I think I might... We're going to get one more rotation uh, before we just, like, cut right to the rotation that we're looking for. Um, because next rotation... It'll actually be just the same as the last rotation, so I guess I will cut to their best... Well, quotes up, best rotation offensively, I guess. Uh, we'll be back in a second. All right, we're back. This didn't take near as long as I thought it would. I cut for like a minute and a half. Um, so here, as you can see, we're at like 35-ish percent HP. Um, we do have Bardock's passive active because of that. We also have B-Pan's active skill. At least we will. Um, I do just want to make sure I'm not going to die here. Um, I don't really care about the, their defense here. This is all about offense. Um, so I'm just going to put B-Pan in the first slot because why not? It doesn't matter. Uh, Super Saiyan 3 product doesn't give any, like, slight attack buff from a super attack or anything. And now they're just B-Pan. So, uh, let's see what they're at here. Uh, they're still at 109,000 defense. I don't know why I thought that would change. Um, uh, you know, I actually will put Bardock in the first slot because I, I don't get a super just because there's so much support going on here that if I got a super with anyone, I'd be scared that they were going to kill. Um, so let's see what number they get up to here. Um, obviously this is with the secondary part of their passive active, but this is probably the only time you would, like, get them out. 2.2 million with a 50% chance to crit as well as two normals coming and a pretty good chance of another super Okay, and he lowered attack and defense Okay, all of these are crits. Give me another super Another super? Oh, uh, normal. Okay, but that was like really impressive Like they're a free unit that was just at 2 million damage and then did three normal attacks afterwards that were like all crits So they're definitely super good. I don't think I would recommend transforming with them very often um, but that's neither here nor there. Um, I think we're actually gonna, <laughs> I think I'm gonna start doing my outro, but I am just gonna let Gohan just kind of do this low-key. Um, if you guys did enjoy this video, please consider leaving a like, a comment, subscribe to the channel, 4.1. Uh, I don't remember why it wasn't my outro, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, anyways, I'll, I'll see you guys next time.